Hey guys, it's your math tutor. Today we're talking about how to find the arc length and sector area of circles in geometry. Let's go. We should first talk about what we mean when we say arc length. Here we have a circle, and you all know what a circumference is, right? It's the length of this outside perimeter of the circle, and you can calculate the full perimeter by using the formula 2 pi r, where r is the radius. Now when we're talking about arc length, an arc is defined as any piece of the circumference, so arc length is just how long that piece is. Looking at our first arc length problem, we're asked to find the arc length of AB. Our first step is just going to be to identify the arc. Because we're told it's arc AB, it's going to be the distance between this point A to point B. In our problem, we're also given that our radius, which is the distance from the center to the perimeter, is 6 meters, and this angle is 80 degrees. Our second step is to come up with an equation to solve for arc length, and there is a formula for arc length, which is this one here, but instead of just memorizing it, let's think through it because, let's be honest, there are too many formulas out there for us to memorize them all. When we look at arc length, we already talked about how it's just a piece of the circumference, right? Well, the length of the arc is proportional to how big or small this angle is. The bigger the angle, the bigger the arc length, and the smaller the angle, the smaller the arc length. And this is exactly how the formula works. It's just a proportion. To put it into an equation, we're trying to find the length of the arc. I'm just going to call it L. And this arc length is just a fraction of the total circumference, which is 2 pi r, where r is 6 meters. Now, like we talked about, these lengths we just wrote down are proportional to the angles. The angle for this arc is 80 degrees. And those 80 degrees are just a fraction of the total number of degrees in a circle, which is 360. If we look at the equation, it makes sense because if the angle of an arc is 360 degrees, then the arc length is just the full perimeter of the circle, which is 2 pi r. We're just using that proportion to find if the angle is only 80 degrees, what is the arc length? And yeah, we just came up with the arc length formula. In class, you might also see it written in terms of arc length, but it's the same formula, just rearranged. Okay, we have all of the numbers we need to solve for our arc length. So solving for L, we'll get the length is about 8.4 meters, which is our answer. For our second problem, we're actually using the same circle, but now it's asking us to find the arc length of ATB, which is this longer arc length here. We can use the same idea and use proportions to come up with an equation. We're trying to find arc length L, which is just a piece of the total circumference 2 pi r, and the lengths are proportional to the angle measures. The angle of the arc we're looking at is 280 degrees. I got that by taking the total number of degrees in a circle, which is 360, and subtracting 80. Let's put that over the total degrees in a circle, which is 360. Solving for L, we'll get about 29.3 meters as our arc length. Let's do a final challenge problem for arc lengths before we get into sector areas. This problem is asking us to find the arc length of AB and CD, which are these two arcs here. We're given that the diameter is 3 inches, and we're not directly given the angle measures that we want, but we are given that this angle is 130 degrees. 
We can still use proportions to figure out the equation, but let's just do one arc at a time to make it easier. I'm going to choose to do arc AB first. If we try to set up the proportions, we're trying to figure out our arc length L, and let's put that over the entire circumference, which is 2 pi r, where r is 1.5 inches. The lengths are proportional to the angle measures, but we actually don't know the angle measure of our arc, or do we? If we look at this angle, we know for sure that it's 130, and we know it's on the same straight line as the angle of our arc. If you remember, because it's on the same line, we know that these two angles add up to 180. 180 minus 130 is 50 degrees, which is the measure of our arc. Let's put that over the total number of degrees in a circle, and we can solve our equation. We'll get the arc length of AB is 1.3 inches. However, we're not done yet because the question asked us to find the arc length of AB and CD, but lucky for us, these arc lengths are actually the same. Because if you look at these two angles, they're directly across from each other, which means they're vertical angles. And if you remember, vertical angles always have the same angle measures. So that will also mean that their arc lengths are the same too. If you don't believe me, you can plug everything into the arc length formula again, but I'm just going to double what we got for AB, and the arc lengths of the two arcs added together is 2.6 inches. That's it. All right, moving on to sector areas. We still have the same circle we're working with, but now it's asking us to find the area of the shaded region. This region, this pie slice, is called the sector area. We can think about sector area the same way we thought about arc length, where arc length is just a piece of the total circumference, sector area is just a piece of the total area. Looking at this problem, it's already done the first step for us, which is identifying the sector area. It's this slice shaded in bright orange. Now let's set up our equation. We can also set up the equation using proportions just like how we did it for arc length. Because in the same way, the bigger the angle, the bigger the slice or sector area, and the smaller the angle, the smaller the slice. We're trying to find A, the area of the sector, and we can put it over the total area of the circle, which is defined as pi r squared, where r is 6 meters. This area is proportional to angle measure, and we know the angle we're working with is 80 degrees. Let's put that over the total number of degrees in a circle, which is 360. This makes sense if you think about it, because if the angle of the sector area was a full 360 degrees, the sector area would be the entire area of the circle, which is pi r squared. Now, if the angle were just 80 degrees, we want to figure out what the area of the slice would be. Let's solve for a, and we'll get 25.1 meters squared as our area. That's our answer. For our next problem, again, we have the same circle, but we're asked to find the area of this larger sector here. Again, let's do the same thing and set up our equation. We're trying to find the sector area A. Let's put it over the total area, pi r squared. And this is proportional to the angle measures. Our angle measure is 280. because 360 minus 80 equals 280. And let's put that over the total number of degrees, 360. Solving for area, we'll get about 88 meters squared for our answer. All right, last question. And this doesn't look as challenging now, right? We're trying to figure out the area of these two orange sectors. And again, let's just do one sector at a time and set up the equation using proportions. I'm going to go for this one first. 
we're trying to find the area A, and let's put that over the total area of the circle, pi r squared, and in this case, r is 1.5. The area is proportional to the angle measure, and this problem doesn't directly tell us the angle measure of the sector, but because it's on the same line as this 130 degree angle, and we know two angles on the same line add up to 180, we know that this angle is equal to 50. Let's put that over the angle measure of a full circle, which is 360, and we'll solve for the area. We'll get the area of this sector is one inch squared. This is only one of the sectors, but it's pretty easy to figure out the rest. The area of the other sector is actually the same as this one because these two angles are vertical angles. That means they're the same size. And again, if you don't believe me, you can set up the equation for this sector, but I'm just gonna double the area that we got earlier. And this is our final answer, two inches squared. All right, those were all of the problems I wanted to go over today. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or other topics you'd want me to cover. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more math tutorials like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.